Hi everyone, I'm Bita Delisi, and in this video we're going to talk about the test to bad faith. Let's talk about good faith. Good faith is having the genuine intent to occupy a rental unit. Often landlords just want to get rid of the tenant because they either want to increase the rent or they want to do some uh, TL they want to give the property a little bit of a TLC prior to listing the property so that they can maximize getting top dollar when the property is sold. However, when landlords resort to just serving a notice to end the tenancy for the landlord or new purchaser's own use, and 12, without having the genuine intent to occupy the property, the notice may be deemed to be served in bad faith, and therefore it's a violation of section 57 of the act. Tenants have 12 months from the date that they move out of the property in order to bring a bad faith application against the former landlord and seek remedies that are that have strong cost consequences. In accordance to section 57, here is a test to bad faith. The board asks three questions. Number one, they ask, did the tenant rely on the N12 in order to make a move? Number two, is there an advertisement of the rental property? And number three, did the person who was supposed to move in actually move in? The last one is, is I call the trigger question. And the reason why is because if the tenant relied on the notice in order to make a move, and if there's an advertisement to increase the rent or to sell a property, and if the landlord or new purchaser, as indicated on the N12, did not move in, the landlord can be found liable of a violation of section 57. And therefore, a tenant can bring an application through the board and seek remedies. The board has recently changed, the, law, the, the laws have recently been changed that landlords can be found liable of fines up to $100,000. And corporations can be found liable of fines up to $500,000. So definitely seek legal advice if you're thinking of either moving into the property or if you want to sell the property, but need a creative way to do so. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, call us first.